What's up today, my wonderful people? Thank you all for tuning in for another video. I really, really, really appreciate you. All right, listen, first of all, I just want to say that if I get the wipe of my nose in this video, don't be offended because, you know, for two or three days I'd have been sick. You know, my nose been running like a faucet, all right? You ever ran your faucet? Listen, do me a favor, go turn on the hot, you know, they got a hot and the cold. Turn on the hot one full of blast, and that's how my nose been running. All right, you can probably hear it in my voice, so bear with me if I got to dab my nose a little bit, all right? Let me show you my Kleenex. Right? You don't mind, do you? Got my little Kleenex right here, you know, because I had to dab a few times. But anyway, let's get back to the video, all right? Listen, what I want to talk to you about is the simple fact that, listen, stop trying to dim your light, okay? Stop trying to dim your light. Listen, God made you to be a light and to shine in the midst of a dark world. But the problem is, a lot of times, we we feel bad for shining so bright. In other words, don't dim your light just because uh, you feel like you're, sh just, just because you feel like you're outshining other people. Because people who may not be shining their light will look at you like you're doing something wrong. And if you are not confident in who you are and whose you are, you'll find yourself dimming your light. In other words, let's just say we stand in our side, all right? And two people are playing basketball, and I'm holding up a light so they can see the goal because without a light, they can't see the basket. You see what I'm saying? So I got a real bright light. Well, imagine if it was daytime. You probably wouldn't need me over there with the little light. I'm, I'm irrelevant. But guess what? Let the lights go out. You really find out how valuable I am, me and my little light. You know what I mean? So I challenge you. Listen, you may not feel like you're valuable. You may say, well, I don't feel like I'm making a difference. But wait till the lights go out, though. Yeah, that's right. Wait till the lights go out. Wait till something crazy happens. Now, I'm not you know, wishing anything crazy on anybody. I'm just saying, listen, in life... In life, people need to know who to run to. For example, you may have five friends. Do I got someone inside of my mouth? I feel like I had, I was eating some peanuts earlier. This felt like someone hanging on my mouth. But anyway, let's get back to the video. Sorry about that. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, if you, if you have five friends, and let's just say none of them listen to you, you try to talk to them about God, and all of them like, oh, whatever, whatever, girl, whatever, boy, I ain't trying to hear all that. You know, just leave me alone with it. Cool. You still hold your light up because you know what? When they go through a certain situation, when they go through a bad breakup, right? When they go through a crisis or a bad situation, instantly in their mind, it's going to click. Well, I do got a friend, you know, that, that 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 be talking about God. Like, maybe it's time for me to give my life to the Lord. Maybe I need to go to church. Maybe I need to call her and, and, and ask her for some advice. Well, guess what? If you wouldn't have held your light up during the bright times, they would not know where the light is at in the dark times. So people around you, everybody's going through things, whether you know it or not, all right? And they need a light because it's a pitch black world. Your light may be this big. It's okay. You are still making a difference. Okay, let's get to the scripture because I'm running out of time on the video. You know what I'm saying? Uh, where we at? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Matthew 5, uh, Matthew my, not Matthew my, Matthew 5, 14. See, I've been trying to talk too fast, man. <laughs> Matthew 5 14 you are the light of the world a city on a hill cannot be hidden nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket but on a stand and it gives light to all in the house in other words you are a light don't take your light and hide it under the table God made you to to shine bright Stop dimming your light because uh, you feel like you need to be like everybody else stop trying to be like the world you're not here to be like the world. You are in this world, but you, listen, the Bible says you are in this world, but not of it. So I challenge you watching this video all this week. Let your light shine. Put them up, man. Go ahead and put your lights up because somebody out there is going through darkness and you may think that nobody sees your light. Even if, I, I wish I had my a box of matches in here. I would have struck one on the video. That would have been pretty tight, huh? But uh, I ain't got no matches in here. But, but look, so so let your light shine, man. I'm telling you, people out there, they need it and they can see you. They may not come and talk to you right now, but the time will come. The time will come when people will come to you because of your influence and your light that you have been holding up. So listen, hold your arms up. I know you feel like you ain't doing no good in the world, but just keep holding that light up. Because sooner or later, sooner or later, somebody going to come and find you because of that light you're holding up. I love you. Do me a quick favor, subscribe to the channel so we can stay connected. I'll talk to you tomorrow morning.